solar electric system makes electricity available in remote areas where there's no access to the electrical grid infrastructure. Solar energy can be used for low power applications such as lights, television sets and vaccine refrigerators. It is however not suitable for appliances that consume a lot of power such as electric cookers and heaters. Maintenance requirements of solar systems are low but they cannot be neglected. Only if a system is well cared for will it last for 20 to 25 years. Solar technicians are needed once in a while and the users need to check the battery and clean the panels. The solar electric system consists of a number of components. Together, they collect, store and use the energy from the sun. The solar panels convert the energy in sunlight into electric power. The electric power is stored in batteries and can be used at any time during the day or night. The solar system is designed in such a way that it will still work after a few cloudy days when there is little or no sunshine. The solar panels convert sunlight into electrical energy. Solar panels are expensive and care needs to be taken that they are installed in a secure location. The panels have to be clean from dust and dirt. In the southern hemisphere, the solar panel should always be facing north so as to be exposed to a maximum period of sunshine. Batteries store the electrical energy generated by the solar panels during the sunny part of the day. The most common type of battery is the lead acid battery. There are different types of batteries, ranging from ordinary car batteries to the more expensive deep cycle solar batteries. Deep cycle solar batteries have a lifespan of at least 10 years, provided that they are looked after. The charge controller or regulator is the brain of the system. It protects the battery from being overcharged or totally discharged. Battery systems are usually either 12 volts or 24 volts. For a 24 volt system, a voltage reading of 26 to 28 volts indicates a fully charged battery. 21 to 23 volts indicates a low battery. The solar panels and battery produce direct current, DC, which can be used for lights and radios. Other applications such as refrigerators and television sets usually need alternating current, AC, to function. The inverter converts the DC into AC electricity. Some solar systems are designed in such a way that all appliances connected to it operate on 230 volts AC. This has the advantage that the switch over to the grid supply, should it become available, is fairly straightforward. Other solar electric systems have some of the load operating on the DC voltage from the battery, usually the lights. For the system to function optimally, unobstructed sunlight is of great importance. Therefore, panels should be placed in full sunshine and washed down when necessary. Clean the panels with cold water only because soap and detergents will degrade the sealing material. Use only clean water and a sponge and always clean the panel when the sun is not very hot. 
This avoids the so-called hot spots forming on the glass panel. Dry the panels after cleaning. Visually inspect the solar panels for damage. A lead acid motive power battery requires little maintenance, but attention to the following points will ensure that the battery gives maximum performance and remains in service longer. The batteries must be located in a cool, dry and ventilated area away from heat, open flames, fire and sunlight. Access to the batteries must be restricted.